this is not what we were expecting. Whoa! I think we found our spot, don't you? Yeah, so I came out, we're driving separately in this trip. We're driving. Super big prop. What is that prop? So what was that super big problem? The little fender on the back of my bumper on my car is chipped and broken. <laughs> yeah, what? So where were we? On this trip, we're driving two cars. I drove all the way out to find a really cool camp spot, came back, found Chris, and we decided that we could possibly get the trailer all the way out okay. to this beautiful spot. Hold on, I'm interrupting for a sec. Um, no she drove out here because I got chicken sh doubt of coming down the road originally. We are kind of close to where we're supposed to be spending the next couple nights. You can actually see, let's see, seven sailors. From freecampsites.net and Google Maps, it all looked good. The turn down into it was a little intense, possibly for this. Because this is not a trailer that you want to drive down a road that you need to back out of. I've had to do that once and uh, it wasn't fun because as I was driving along the main highway, I see this like steep road and then a creek and I'm like, you have to drive through the creek. Oh crap, this doesn't look good. So I went down a little ways and pulled off on a side road and flew the drone, checked it all out, made sure it was okay to come back. Anyways. So. I couldn't find him, so I turned around and I drove back out. And as I was driving back out, because obviously we don't have any cell phone service, um, I run into Chris. It was perfect timing. I did. It worked out quite well. And I told him that we have to drive out and take a look at this awesome spot. Yeah, it was... It was a little bit sketch getting out here, but it was totally doable. Let's set this bad boy up so we can sit on our patio before that rain comes. Welcome home. I am not complaining so pretty. about this one bit. Are you going to help me do this? Can you put one on top? Also put one on top right now. But this one... Oh no. Oh my. That is a big oh my. I need inside. We can't go inside yet because things are breaking. Side by your brighty. Oh god. You need to go. Is it just that one side that broke? Yeah, it's just this one side right here. Are you gonna help me? Is that on an act Chris, are you gonna pump a hole through that floor? No, it's on the frame. It's, it's on the frame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so because our jack broke on the this front of our trailer, skin snap. Jobber. Lovely. This is the advantage and why I travel with a 20 ton bottle jack. Because it is helpful. You're, you're helping? Hang on, dad's got to see you. Okay, that. So basically, since this is now no longer good, I did my extension leg, I raised this back up so that I can take my remaining, wow, wow ones of these. Thank you, Colson. You are the best helper ever. 
something like that. Do not do that. Yeah. How are you out of strength? I don't think I've ever seen this auto level work once. Oh, hi, handfuls, handfuls of gloves. Thank you, Colson. Thank you so much. Here, can I, I'm gonna put these back in here though. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh man, you just got muddy. Look at that. Show mom your pant leg. Show oh, mom your pants. I saw it. I just didn't video it. Oh man. Oh. That's okay. Dude, mud's fun. Trust me. Mud is. Give me a big high five. I'll have to find some pictures of dad when he was your age playing in some mud. It's so much fun. Adventures in RV stuff. That's on a good note. That piece I think is replaceable. It better be. We don't have to buy like a whole new jack. <laughs> Middle jacks are going down. This is like the second time ever in the history of us owning the trailer that that's happened. Holy moly! What does it say? Air out of stroke. Come on. You know what? And then that beeping goes on forever. It's level. All the jacks are down and have pressure on them. And then it beeps. No, it didn't work. Whatever. You have to go pee inside? Okay, let's go pee inside. This way, Art. You should show mom what's in your hair in your corner. No, no, don't touch. Don't touch. Hey, take a look at what we got right there. Grease. Oh, gosh. I have to admit, the trailer is so much cleaner than the last time that we trailered it. It was <laughs> that. We made it. Dude, that view out that window. Yeah, check it out. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, I gotta go get that patio down. That is amazing. Now. Yes, patio is coming down. Trailer's set and ready. What are you making? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I'm guessing that was the first time we've opened the fridge since we parked it? Yep. <laughs> no casualties. We're okay. Whew. Okay, good. Margarita mix is safe. This little latch doesn't work for worth anything. That little latch. That little latch. So you go like this, you're supposed to go like this, and it doesn't work worse. So we put, we travel with this on here now because the first time we trailered, we ended up, I came into camp and we opened up the door and there was just beer had fallen out of here and the six pack was destroyed, glass everywhere, food everywhere, eggs had fallen out. It was a disaster. <laughs> so now this, this isn't that bad. Whoa. Holy cow. Those are airplanes. What did you guys do back here? Is this a super big mess? Uh-huh. It's a <laughs> super, super big mess. I made it. You made it? Yes, you did. Give me a high five. Thank you for telling the truth. You definitely made it. Are you going to help clean it up later? No. Excuse me? Are you going to help clean up the super big mess tomorrow tonight? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Well, good night to our first boondocking night on the road with both boys. This is our spot, and the sun is just going down. So far, so good. Not too cold, and a absolutely outstanding spot. I can't think of a better spot. Like I said, this is not something that we were thinking was going to be this nice. And we only have two nights here, and we're kind of thinking, we're like, hmm. Maybe we should stay a little bit longer, but who knows? Anyways, sunset, beautiful. I'm going to go help put the boys to bed. Good morning. Morning. I'm not complaining about our view and our beautifulness. <laughs> you are definitely stuck in mud. Oh boy. You did muddy too. 
I will, I've got to come rescue you. Can you get out of there? No. Here, I'm going to back you up. We're going to go. <sighs> back it out. Oh my God. Look at your, look at your shoes. Pick your foot up. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, okay, keep backing it up. Keep going. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that again. <laughs> You're washing your bicycle off? I tried to start taking my back. That was just ridiculous. Hartley in a giant pile of mud. Happy as could be. Although, he did have to go wash his bike off, which was really cute. Okay, we had a little bit of a whirlwind morning. A buddy of mine from high school got in touch with us. And we are jetting an hour and a half drive or so to go north to Indian Creek, Utah to go climbing for the day with him and his family. So, super excited. I need cookies. Oh, they're in my pocket. There you go. We are uh, on the road. So we're uh, doing a little off-roading here to get to the climbing area that hopefully my buddy's at. <laughs> Welcome to Indian Creek. It's super bumpy. Okay guys, we're at the end of the easy part of the hike. Now we get to go up there. Way up there to our friends. Let's go up top. Uh, it's so far up there. Oh. Up, my friend. Yep. Up to the top we go. You doing good, Colson? You guys making a butt out. of myself, right? Have fun. <laughs> Else, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, got it. Take all right. It hurts like so good. Yeah, yeah. Back to the track climbing. <laughs> uh. What's up everyone? So as I'm putting this video together for you guys, I'm realizing that I failed big time. So we are hanging at Monument Valley right now and it's not terribly crowded. Um, the drive, whoa, buddy, get down. That's not okay. So before I got interrupted from balancing Magoo over here, uh, Monument Valley. The drive is actually really pretty. It takes like an hour and a half. It's a dirt road. Um, it's it's pretty fun. Um, there's definitely some really, really cool rock structures out here. That one being one of the best. I think, what is it, it's 20 bucks to get in for a car and a national park pass does not work. We went to Monument Valley, that was the whole reason we went to our amazing campground at Valley of the Gods. 
was to go to Monument Valley. I don't have nearly the adequate footage to put anything good together. I really apologize. I have a really super shaky GoPro time lapse that is honestly not even worth posting. So if you want to watch some good Monument Valley things to do and all that sort of stuff, check out Keep Your Daydream. They did a great video on some of the hikes and actually good footage of the drive. Totally recommend doing the drive. It's a 17 mile dirt road. It's beautiful. It is definitely worth doing. There's some great hikes that are from the visitor center. There are some backcountry hikes that you can do backcountry. You need to get a, a guide to go with you. Uh, there's some horseback riding. There's all sorts of fun stuff. Valley of the Gods itself where we stayed was outstanding. Honestly, you could spend just a couple of days right there and not even go into Monument Valley and have a phenomenal time. So with that, we're gonna jump back to the remainder of the video. Hey guys, so it is moving day today. Alrighty guys, so if you remember when we set up camp here, we had a little broken pin leg jack issue, this guy right here. So Sheared off. <laughs> we got this set up fine but now I, I realized I have nothing to keep the extendable leg in while we're driving down the road so I'm gonna be kind of curious to see how this works so I was hoping that I would be able to use this pin to put that through there and I have an idea on how to do that time to go get some big tools out you okay so, pin. Hey boys, I'm missing a socket. Unfortunately, we have to leave this beautiful spot. We are so gorgeous. We loved it out here. We are in Valley of the Gods and we visited Monument Valley while we were out here and everything was just so beautiful. Yeah, honestly, totally recommend this spot when you drive down the road. It's a little sketch looking to get in here, but it's totally doable even with this giant thing so if we can do it then anybody you can do fit. it yeah, <laughs> that is very true so it's time to pack up we are headed to mesa verde and durango yep. area we're gonna we've got another little boondocking spot that is out there we're gonna go hit those couple places up before we head a little further south uh let's see how would you say the initial boondocking experience has been I think it was pretty good. Our batteries are holding up, kind of. Um, they're a little bit older. We might have to replace the batteries at some point during the trip, but everything's really good. The solar helps a ton. Yeah, so say. I'll detail this a little bit. We have a residential refrigerator, so it runs off of electric only. So we can't run our fridge off of propane like most RVs, which is a good, bad thing. It's huge, which is the good. It's bad, it has Drain limited salt. lifespan. So we have six six volt batteries, 400 watts of solar, and a generator on board. So with that, we kind of have a decent amount of range that we can stay uh, without being plugged in. But it's nice not having to run the generator all that often. Like last night, I think I was up at like 2.30 or 3, and I just turned it on and let it run until we got up this morning. So other than that, we're kind of sad to say goodbye to this beautiful place but it's been a ton of fun and we are on to what hopefully should be the next beautiful place yeah. and uh we are also gonna have to hit a laundry mat because um both kids are um puking and other stuff yeah the, it was apparently coming out of both ends last night slash this morning so we Fingers it's a good crossed, thing we that we're going it. towards durango ish because we are Nowhere close to a laundromat. We we're probably yeah, we're at in the middle least of nowhere. like an hour drive to a laundromat. So it's a good thing that we're moving today because um, Hartley's out of underwear. Yeah, we're gonna end it at that and get this thing packed up so that we can get to a laundromat. See you guys. We are currently stopped on the side of the road. We were supposed to go up a road, that one right there, to a little flat area, uh, and there's like a foot and a half of snow on it. 
So we're gonna have to do a little rerouting and figure out what and where we're gonna go. So here's the other issue is that we don't really have good cell service right here. So I can't do a lot of research and try and figure out another place. Um, our plan was to try and boondock, free campsites, all that sort of stuff. Seeing that it is totally snowed in, we may end up at an RV park in Durango, but we'll see. Time to get going. <clears throat> oh, buddy. We had, we had a little puke explosion in the car. Yes. These are keys, yeah, dad's gotta go use these. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Keys go in the truck? Okay, we're gonna go get this thing set up so we can give you a bath, cause. Oh. <laughs> Man, I feel so bad, Colson is just like, I mean, fortunately it's mostly just on his clothes, but he, kind of exploded. So we're gonna try and do a little bit of a rush set up here to get the trailer all set up so we can give him a shower and all that stuff because he's a little bit of a disaster. So, okay, well, uh, I gotta do a little bit of work. Talk to you soon. Came down the road, beef said blue to a big green. What is that? It's a frog. Toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye as a little blue truck went rolling by. The sheep said, bah. Bah. The cow said, moo. Oink said a piggy and beep said, moo. Yeah, 